Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jager262, and I'm just doing a quick video on World of Tanks stuff. Mm -hmm. Obviously, nothing in the game, but just keeping you updated with some news that I just found out, and or maybe it was just released. I could be wrong. Again, I've been away from the game for a long time, and apparently, both of these vehicles have been balanced into update 1.7, and I just missed them. But with the new announcement of the frontline season opening up, I believe this week or next week. Now that the black market is done, instead of getting the AE Phase 1 as one of the rewards for completing the entire season at a certain point and getting enough tokens, I believe the number is 12 now, they are releasing two other, or I should say, introducing two other Tier 10s for this event. Now, apparently they were previously a part of the Frontline rewards and I just didn't know about it, but in case you guys hadn't heard about these or didn't know that Frontline was coming back, that is of course the massive, I think, 30 player game mode for tier 8 vehicles to capture points, clear objectives, and destroy bases all in a battle for superiority of a given battlefield. If you do, you get tokens per your progress and you have an entire progression system like any other competitive event. And as a part of that, every time you do, you get ranks. And the more you rank up in the game, the more likely you are, or the more rewards you will get and the faster you will get those tokens. You start as a private and you can go all the way up to general and the way you do that is by getting XP and damaging vehicles in the course of a single battle. So every battle you play in frontline, the rank resets. Now these two vehicles are of course the Object 777 version 2, a tier 9 Russian premium heavy tank. And this is what the model looks like. It has an incredibly low profile and is just a monster of a tank to look at. It uses a 122mm gun, with AP rounds. Obviously, it gets APCR as well. Now, the armor profile on this is just crazy. If you're staring straight down at it, it's about 250 effective armor to about 230 all across the frontal hull. Of course, these go up to 330 on the cheeks. And since it has a rounded turret, you're looking at values of 600 to almost 1,000 millimeters of effective armor. Now, they don't have any real stats for the side. It's just basically 150 millimeters. Now, that's obviously not the case. They're just balancing in the tracks with this, and I guess it'll act as spaced armor, but just a monster of a vehicle that looks really cool. I might want to pick one up if I could. Here's a live look at that, so you can see it kind of rolling. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video is not because of the Object 777, but rather this, which is the other and third offering. Of course, the AE Phase 1 is coming back, that Tier 10 premium medium tank or actually heavy tank for the United States but this is the French tier 9 Char Future 4. Now this is a light tank I have never heard of and I'll do an armor model real quick but you can see it has no armor. I mean 60 millimeters really is the thickest point. These cheeks having 200 which is nice. The reason I wanted to show this vehicle off is it has a massive 105 millimeter tier 10 cannon with an auto loader in the back. So, never seen this vehicle before. I've seen the Object 777 before. I just did not realize that it was actually balanced into the game. But I had never even heard of this vehicle. And so that's really why I wanted to make this video so you guys could see it. And if you have seen it or you've played it or you've played against it, let me know in the comment section below. Standard rounds for this are going to be APCR, so no AP, which means their premium rounds will probably be heat. So it's just a monster of a tank. Now, in the description, it says it's going to play like the Bat Chat 25, which is the Tier 9 progression light tank. But just crazy weird profile, very thin, almost looks like a tank destroyer on par with the Scorpion or the Zoo 130, and a massive, massive gun. Not really sure how this vehicle will play in game, to be honest. I've never seen one. I've never seen an Object 777 in game either, but I knew about it. So. Just wanted to make this video so you guys could see some new stuff that's coming with the new Frontline season. It'll be very interesting. Hopefully, you guys will be able to pick one up. I'm going to try, especially if, like me, you guys are able to pick up some new and interesting Tier 8 premiums during the Black Market event. I look forward to the new season, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the battlefield. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you want to get notified on any other World of Tanks videos I'm going to be making, going into this weekend, so probably next week, I'll be putting together gameplay videos and full review videos of the PZ-58 Mutz, the BTSV, 
and some other special and unique vehicles that I haven't featured on my channel. Just so that way you guys can see and I can keep making World of Tanks content even after the black market. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.